today I'm going to be showing you five different Christmas Day outfit looks. And yes, I'm wearing a Santa hat because I have run out of all my Christmassy jumpers and tops for the video. So for today, while I still want to be Christmassy, I'll be extra Christmassy, so I'll put a Santa hat on. So anyway, I did a Christmas Day outfits video two years ago um, and I'm going to link that down below because that was like edited all nicely and I like went outside and I used the house and it just looked very Tumblr-esque um, but I haven't got time to do that this year so I thought you know what instead I'm just going to sit down show you them and then add on try and clips just so you can see what they look like. These five Christmas outfits are also not involving in your face Christmas so this is for you guys who don't really like the festive Christmas jumpers but you know you just want subtle Christmas but you still want to feel nice and festive. But yeah these are five different outfits to the last year's one but you can always go and check down below because they were slightly different alterations oh no sorry two years ago um but yeah there's all brand new outfits and most of the things that I'm going to be showing you this are very current or you can get very similar things um, and I thought it would be great to show you now because you can always plan your Christmas Day outfit in advance because I know I like to get a new outfit every year so I can just feel it all special on Christmas. Outfit number one. So outfit number one is kind of for your more casual goers but you're making it look a bit more smart and Christmassy at the same time. So what you want to do first is find yourself either a really long t-shirt like I have or a t-shirt dress and just a block colour. So I have grey but I think white or black would also look really good. So you want to put this on and obviously make sure it is quite fairly long. I'd say probably mid thigh-ish and then you want to pair it with a checkered shirt. Or any, or any other shirt really, but I think checkered really makes it look Christmassy. So here I've got, or played, or to autumn, whatever you call it, like a red and blue one. Um, these items are both from Primark. Uh, you can find them all for really good prices. And then you've just got the effect of a t-shirt dress with a shirt. Um, but then obviously you want to pair that with some either tights or leggings or like me, I've just got some thick thermal footless tights. Um, so they're going to keep you super warm. But then I'm pairing that with some block heels these ones are from new look but again get them from anywhere um any color black gray i'd say probably would go best and then this is going to make it look a lot more going out -esque. so if you are going to a restaurant and um, you can put these on just to look a bit smarter and again because i think the t-shirt looks quite plain i have paired this with a very long necklace i've just got the silver one and it's got some charms and the vibe and i just think this whole look it's casual but it looks smart at the same time outfit number two so this one is a lot more smart so again i'd say this is probably perfect if you're going out for a nice like to a restaurant on christmas day instead of staying at home or if you just want to look smart around the house so this involves um a kind of a skirt look here i've got kind of a kind of high neck um top it's burgundy it's got sparkles it's ribbed and it's kind of a three quarter length t-shirt and it's tight fitted you then going to want to pair that with again i've got a bodycon skirt but um even a uh what you call them skate skirt would also look great and i've just got this white and black kind of aztec -y pattern and again that kind of sits at mid thigh and to obviously finish that up you just got some tights because it is going to be cold on christmas obviously it's expected I'm pairing that with a necklace and it's just this gold necklace because I think gold really fits well with them colours um, and it kind of just sits just below the t-shirt so it ties it all together and then if you were going out another great item to add would be a leather jacket um, this look would also be great if you were going to a Christmas party um, or yeah it's just a Christmas meal out any time before Christmas because it looks super snazzy. Outfit number three. This one is for all of you those who you want to stay super casual during the day, you're staying at home all day, you just want to be in pyjamas and be comfortable. So perfect for this, you can have a onesie or just your comfiest pyjamas you own, a lot of people get them for Christmas um, so it'd be perfect if you got some that day. Again this is from Primark. This is one of my Harry Potter onesies and it's just got Harry Potter, the lightning um, and some moons on it and stars. It's extremely comfy but this one is without the feet because I find them ones a bit more comfier than the ones with the feet. You want to pair that with some slippers or fluffy socks like I've got here. And yeah, this is just if you want to stay really comfy throughout the day or even something that to put on in the evening once you've, you know, you've had your nice outfit in the day but you want to get super cuddly at night. So if anything's different about the set, it's just because I've had to change the battery. But we are on to outfit number four. This one is kind of a combination of what I think I might be wearing on Christmas Day. So basically what you're going to do is I've got this t-shirt here. Now, I'm going to tell you a quick story about this. I saw um, a like a brighter red version in New Look in the store. It's from their brand Cameo Rose. 
Um, and in the store, it was like a bright red, obviously this is burgundy, but the one I saw was bright red, um, and there was a size 8, and that was a bit small, so I thought, do you know what, when I go home, I'm going to order a size 10. I got home, nearly every single colour, there was about 10 different colours were sold out, um, but there was the burgundy left, and the lowest size was a size 12. So I thought, do you know what, I'm going to get it, and we'll see how it is. Turns out I love it. So this is why I think this is perfect. So this top says, live to sparkle, and then it's got silver eyelashes on. Okay, it's a lot deeper red. It's picking it up very bright, but it's quite deeper than this. Um, and then what it is, because it's oversized, it is now quite long. So obviously, not, you know, not too long, but just probably just upper mid thigh, if that makes sense. You'll, you'll see in the overlay. Um, but it's just really nice because it's casual but it's got the element of smart and christmas on it as well and it's a baggy tee so yeah it looks really great and i'm pairing that with some leggings but again you can pair it with tights thermal tights or even jeans just whatever matches um and then with that i'm pairing it with because obviously it's quite high neck as it is but i think just a little gold choker would just suit this look really well and the gold even though you know the eyelashes are silver and the necklace is gold it still ties in really nicely because of the little pearls pearl well not pearls but pearl colour on the necklace and i'm pairing that with two of my favourite items items what was that um my suede faux suede jacket from new look so yeah it's just this lightweight and it per pairs perfectly so if i you know again if you're going to a restaurant this would just make it look even that much more smarter over casual and i'm then pairing that with the shoes i'm wearing it is my again faux suede over the knee boots just the two items of suede person perfectly and again it makes it look that extra bit more smarter so this was actually my christmas day top i bought in mind of wearing this year so this final outfit again it's more of a casual but smart one at the same time but it's going to be a super comfy one so what you want to do is you want to kind of get a cropped ish jumper the one that just sits on your waist perfectly waif, waist i've got this bright red one here oh my god it doesn't look that bright red in real life it doesn't you've seen me in in when in my vlogs because this is also a recent purchase so yeah this is just perfect it sits just on your waistline you want to again pair that with some either leggings but i've got jeans this time just some black high waisted jeans so it's the you know they tie in really nicely together um the both of these items are both from new look actually and yeah, it just pairs them so nicely together. You want to pair that with, I have got these fake Timberlands here from Primark that I think I've had for two years now. Um, and the brown really ties in nicely with the red. And um, obviously grey or black or whatever. These are kind of just more of the, yeah, casual boots. So casual in the lockdown, if that makes sense. But I then wanted to pair that with this super cute initial necklace that I've had for years. And it just fits perfectly where the jumper ends. Um, or where the jumper starts, if you know what I mean, um, and it just adds a really nice, you know, touch of something, because it's a very plain look, so this just adds a nice little sparkle, and then if you are, you know, going out that day, pair it with this fairy headband, which I got from Primark last year, again, this just really makes it a cosy look. So there are the five looks, so I hoped you enjoyed that, and you at least, you know, kind of identified yourself with one of them, and throughout the Christmas period, if you're going out, you know, to any Christmas meals, or parties, or on Christmas Day itself, and you're thinking, you know, you've got some inspiration from that, I really hope that helped. For Christmas Day, I think I'm going to be wearing that sparkle top, but with the red jumper over the top. Um, so yeah, that's think what's my Christmas outfit is going to be. Oh, I'm with some leggings and I'm not kind of sure which pair of boots I'm going to wear yet. Remember to like, subscribe and the comment of the day can be what was your favourite style that I showed in this video or what style would you identify yourself to the most. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on Friday for my next video.